everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a video all about tropical perfumes it is super warm here today in London and I am thinking about my next vacation and I'm just in a tropical mood and wanted to share with you my favorite tropical smell I think it's amazing the way that just a smell can literally transport you to you know a holiday you had 10 years ago or a moment somewhere where you smelt particular you know flower on a breeze or something and it just immediately you're on holiday um I, this is one of the reasons why i love fragrances so yeah i want to share that with you if you are new here then welcome we're all about perfumes so check out all my hundreds and hundreds of other videos i have so many um and if you aren't new if you're a regular and you haven't subscribed then do hit that subscribe button and show your support i really appreciate it and as always i'll leave links down below to where you can get all these perfumes in the uk us Canada, Australia, Europe. So let's get into it. Let's get into the perfumes. Now, where shall I start? I guess I probably have to start with the most obvious one, uh, which is of course, Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess. So this smells like coconut. It smells like sun cream to me, but it smells like sun cream in a good way, if that makes sense. So it's that, um, that coconut creamy, holiday vibe it's that smell that you just don't get in winter you don't get in colder climates you only get it in you know hot places where you're covered in sun cream and you're having a coconut on the beach and it's just an exclusively tropical smell mm. and yeah it smells very classy i love the bronze goddess smell it just feels like whisking you away you're immediately on holiday i know if you're in the southern hemisphere right now you're in the middle of winter so bronze goddess is something you can put on and sort of pretend you're away and it just takes you away to that kind of space and um, this is the eau fresh version if you like really like coconut then you could go for the eau de parfum which is even stronger but what's also great and if you're a regular here you'll know about this because i've been talking about it a lot is the new bronze goddess azure so this is completely different smell and this has orange blossom in so it's kind of like a mixture of bronze goddess original plus Ellie Saab so you've got that sort of tropical coconut vibe but then you've got this um, fresh morning in the Caribbean smelling the orange blossoms smelling the um, all the plants and the vegetation around you it's almost slightly aromatic, like it reminds me of the smell of a spa. I remember when I was in St. Lucia, there was a spa in the hotel. It had this amazing smell and it, that's what this reminds me of. Mm, it's really classy, really nice. It, and it's an eau de toilette, so it's quite a light perfume. It's not heavy. It would be perfect for during the day. Like maybe you could wear this during the day and then Bronze Goddess Original Grow Fresh at night because you know the coconut's a bit deeper, a bit more sexier. Whereas this is very uplifting and fresh and you could sort of do like five, six, seven sprays, you know, and just feel really refreshed coming out the shower perhaps or if you're feeling very hot you could use this to sort of sort of feel a bit more uplifted i i just really like it and i really like the bottle this like transparent turquoisiness it's very cool so next i am going to mention one from maison margella from their replica range you might have remembered i did a video on this a few months ago these are perfumes that smell like a moment or a place um, so they have all different things and one of them is called Beach War. Now these are a little bit unusual, a bit niche. They are sold in quite a lot of places, like I'll leave them linked, but they're just, they're not super mainstream designer. So if you're looking for something that not everyone has. Mm. And this, this one reminds me of a beach early in the morning. Um, the, the smell of the salt from the sea, the fresh air that's coming overnight, um, the smell of the sand and um the sea and the vegetation in the sea it reminds me a little bit of cornwall and um, that sort of fresh breezy smell um a, a slightly grassy 
and then it settles to become a bit sweeter and it's really nice it's very calming and relaxing um, it's kind of like a seashell or something I think this would be lovely if you just want to chill out and uh, just have something that's very tropical but very calm and yeah it's it's a really nice concept I think so next I've got another niche one for you actually from a brand called Parle Moi de Papam French um, called Gardens of India um, so you regulars may have remembered me talking about this in the past this is quite hard to get hold of but I'll try and leave it linked this smells like a cactusy green garden smell you know a very very lush garden um, if you've ever been to like Morocco where they have you know areas of land that are just sandy and then you get these really lush well watered gardens with loads of loads of plants that's what this reminds me of it's actually a tuberose perfume and I don't really like tuberose but I love this so it doesn't smell like normal tuberose it smells very green Mm, but very pretty and very feminine again this would be perfect for during the day or if you're feeling very hot and sweaty and humid and it's just different I can't think of anything that smells anything like this it's it's really interesting smell so next a very affordable one from Shea and Blue London um, yeah I'm kind of ticking off a lot of the niche ones at the moment and um, this is called watermelons and it smells like a watermelon now obviously watermelons only appear in um very hot climates tropical climates and you know i don't tend to really eat watermelon unless it's quite hot weather um this is really true watermelon smell it smells just like a watermelon um it's super fruity tropical and very very fresh and watermelon is like what is it like 90 percent water or something so it has that very fresh feeling um, it is an eau de toilette, I think, so it's not super strong, but these prices are very good and I think you can get these in like little purse sprays and stuff and yeah, I really think if you just want something totally different and you want to smell like a watermelon, then nothing else really smells like a watermelon as much as this. So next I have some grapefruit perfumes for you. Um, so first of all, the Omnia Pink Sapphire. This is like a little pink seashell and it's a fresh, fresh grapefruit, pomelo, um, very juicy. This is be perfect for hot climates. And it just, for me, you know, I would never really wear this in the winter and cold weather. I would wear this when I just want that citrus freshness. Like that is what this reminds me of. Um, and I love the bottle. And this is like a mini and very easy to just throw in your handbag. Like that's not going to break. I think it's plastic. Um, it's very convenient, to, you know, small to pack on holiday. And then there's also the Joe by Joe Loves. So for those of you that don't know, Joe Malone actually doesn't own the Joe Malone London perfume range anymore. She sold it years ago um, and she's nothing to do with it she sold it to L'Oreal I think um, and since then she started her own brand called Joe by Joe Loves sorry called Joe Loves um, they have one shop here in London in Belgravia beautiful shop and you can buy them online uh, and they're in Space NK I think as well um, so fun fact for you there Joe Malone not involved in Joe Malone um, and these are very similar to her original Jo Malone London fragrances when she was involved. And this Jo by Jo Loves is like her signature one, it comes this red bottle. And it's a, um, and again, this is grapefruit, has lime in. And I've been and talked to the people in the store there and really cool story that she um, was sat on a beach and uh, having breakfast and she just recovered from her cancer treatment um, which is why she sold the business in the first place and she had this pomelo this juicy grapefruit pomelo for breakfast and the smell the smell and the taste was just so intense and she just so appreciated the fact that she was still here and she could experience like that intense experience of, of a very sharp grapefruity pomelo smell and and that's what this is inspired by and um, so that's what this smells like so it's really fresh and now I always think of that story when you know whenever I hear about Joe Loves and stuff so again something a bit different and a really nice 
tangy grapefruit. And then another nice grapefruit is Pomelo Paradise from Atelier Cologne, another slightly niche one. These are unisex perfumes um, and they're a cologne so they're quite light and this is just a very fresh grapefruit again great option i think any of these three if, if you like grapefruits they are all kind of similar and um, all very fresh and tangy and then speaking of tangy i am going to throw in here the new angel nova from thierry muggler so if you haven't seen my video about this it's a brand new one i've got a mini here to show you look how cute the mini is uh, obviously it's a star just like angel hot pink color smells nothing like angel it has nothing in common it's a totally new smell um and what it is is it's lychee and lychee of course is a tropical fruit um i definitely associate it with summer with freshness with like tropical climate mm. and this just has that summer feel that tropical feel um you know i would never really eat anything lychee really unless i was on holiday um you know it's not something you see all the time in london a lychee and that's what this reminds me of and i just think the bottle's so cute I've always loved the angel bottle and now that it comes in a hot pink color i just think that's awesome um so yeah i'll leave a link down below to my review of this and, and first impressions and stuff but i'm definitely feeling this as a tropical vibe so next on my list is one from Juliet Has A Gun and it's called Moscow Mule. So if you don't know, Moscow Mule is a cocktail. It has a lot of lime in it, tequila, um, and it's something that I drink on holiday and it reminds me basically of Mexico, of course, where there's so much tequila, so much lime. And it's that sort of guacamole, nachos and Moscow Mule vibe to me. It's also quite woody, so imagine sort of driftwood wash up on the shore or imagine being in like a wood cabin or something on a tropical island and then loads of this beautiful lime very refreshing lime it's a little bit more sophisticated than some of the grapefruit ones with that lime it's a bit more serious a bit more like maybe evening times you know you're having some some cocktails it's that kind of vibe but it's quite sort of laid back evening vibes with that sophisticated woody note in there um but very unusual very nice and yeah love i love that very unusual moscow mule and i really like the bottle as well so another one to recommend one that i would only wear in like a very hot day is from jimmy choo their low de toilet to have this little mini of it um, this has hibiscus in which of course is a lovely tropical flower and it has peony in which i love and it has peach as well this is a bit more fruity but with that tropical hibiscus vibe it just feels like um sort of cute innocent fruity holiday uh, it would be great for daytime i think it's a fresh eau de toilette it's simple um it's jimmy Choo, of course you guys know i love the um, eau de parfum perhaps you could wear the eau de parfum at night for dinner and then you'd wear this during the day by the pool just feeling like refreshed and um it's definitely kind of cute and innocent perhaps very younger uh, market um, with that peachy fruitiness but yeah I like this one and then of course continuing on the the theme of of fruity perfumes and you guys are probably sick of hearing about Pariva uh, from Omnia this is a passion fruit perfume discontinued so if you love passion fruit definitely try this one that's very affordable is Beyonce's Pulse I know a lot of people don't like the bottle of this I mean if you don't like the bottle you could just have it like that I guess um, but what's great about this is it's so affordable um, it's like less than 10 pounds for a full size and this is a vanilla cocktail type smell if you think of a passion fruit martini or something like that something that's got like a vanilla syrup in and um, that's what this is like so it's like a tropical vanilla smell um, I can imagine Beyonce being this like tropical princess wearing this um, you know in the Caribbean in Latin America in Miami or something and it's just great value for money if you want just a holiday perfume you, you spend sort of nine pounds on this you can just go mad with the sprays and yeah it's just fun and light-hearted something else a bit unusual a bit niche um, for uh, that tropical vibe is from Skylar and it's called Coral uh, these are vegan 
um, cruelty free perfumes um, yeah a little bit niche this has that grapefruit in and that woodiness of that sort of washed up wood on the shore but it also has black currant in so it's nice and fruity I really like this I think this would be nice um, it would be nice all day to be honest but that that sweetness of the black currant perhaps make this a little bit more nighttime than daytime but I really like this. I find it quite an addictive smell, but I love black currants. Um, but if you want a black currant, you know, you like something like Mon Paris Intensement or uh, Lancome Midnight Rose, but you want something much lighter for holiday, then this could be a nice option. And then lastly, I wanted to end on a perfume that's on my wish list by Erin from the Estee Lauder Erin range called Hibiscus palm it's quite expensive which is why i haven't bought it yet but i always smell it whenever i see it in a shop and put it on because it's just a beautiful tropical smell it's a uh, coconut frangipani hibiscus palm leaves it's just that uh, tropical oasis in the middle of the amazon you know that really sort of humidity palm leafy mm, hibiscusy niceness i love it it's just to me like the ultimate tropical smell i really really want it and i'm waiting for it to get in the sale or something so that i can buy it but it's really really amazing tropical smell so if you want to treat yourself then go for it because the smell is amazing okay guys so that's it that's my rundown of my favorite tropical perfumes let me know what your favorite ones are what do you tend to wear when you go on holiday um, and when you're in that tropical mood or perhaps you live in a tropical climate all year round in which case I'm very jealous but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video bye